Have you ever wished that you had more confidence or maybe there's someone in your office who is just super confident and you wish you could be more like them? Here's the good news. Confidence, having confidence is, it's a skill. And what that means is you can increase your level of confidence through deliberate practice. One of the things that makes us feel more confident and helps others to have more confidence in us is honing the way that we communicate. I've got several videos in this series that are going to help you with little changes that you can make uh, in the way that you communicate that are going to help you feel more confident and as a result, others will have more confidence in the things that you're sharing. You know, our inner critic is just so hard on us and our inner critic knows when we are feeling less than confident and uses that to stop us. So as you're going through the videos, take a look, see which of these areas resonate most with you, and then practice, practice those skills, practice changing the way that you communicate so that you can come across as more confident and feel it as you're sharing your great ideas. We're going to start the video series with talking about removing the words, I'm sorry, I apologize from your vocabulary. I think this impacts a lot of women and we tend to use those phrases to either share our ideas or jump into a conversation as a way to soften our entrance. And what that ends up doing is takes away the power of what we're sharing and makes it seem as though either we don't believe in what we're talking about or we don't feel like we're worthy of the time that we're asking for. My favorite way to coach women to remove that type of language from your everyday conversations is to start with the written word. And you can do that by taking a look at your scent, going and putting in the search bar in your sent email the words sorry, and then try apologize, and see how often you are actually apologizing in email uh, for your ideas or for you know anything that you're sharing. So begin with the written word, backspace over sorry and apologize, and then focus on also eliminating that in your everyday conversations. I hope you find this helpful, and I look forward to sharing with you other tips in the videos that follow.